longer center pivot 30 Bowtech 2023. Let's see how it feels. Welcome back to the YouTube channel. MFJJ here looking at the new 2023 Botex a little early. Uh, the rep brought them by so we can do some testing and have our videos out on time so you can get them on launch day. This is the CP30. This is one of the ones that we had that we didn't have any specs on. So I'm just going to have to measure them and tell you what I got. I can't verify if it's accurate with what the manufacturer says they were, but we just did the SS34 and they were pretty damn close. So I'm betting they're about right. I'm assuming this comes in 50, 60 and 70 pounds because I don't have that spec and it goes from 25 to 30 inches, it looks like, um, according to the module and what I can see and read on here. Looks like oh, 20, yeah, 25, 30 and a half. Looks like it peaks at 30 and a half. So that's our draw length adjustability. I'm not sure what the IBO speed is, but based off of our brace height of six and seven eighths, it looks like it's probably rated about 330-ish, just like the SS34 was. Our effective axle to axle. We didn't measure the reflex in that bow. We gotta do that. Just over 30, like 30 and an eighth. So this is probably a specific 30 bow. Uh, physical weight. We got at 5.0 with two orbital dampeners and an arrow rest. So it's probably 4.5, something like that is probably what it actually weighs without those things on there. Uh, and let's measure how much reflex we have. The idea of this bow is the CP, which means it's very little reflex or center pivot. That's what that means. Looks like the reflex is about just under an inch. Very, very, very little. You won't find bows that do that very often. So. But without it, let's see what we come up with here. Check our weight real quick. My mic just fell off. 70.1. So we're spot on on the weight. Technical difficulties. All right, let's see how this thing feels. It's still pretty darn smooth. That has less uh, vibration on the shot than the 34 did, I think. At least that's what it felt like to me. But it could be the location of the orbital dampeners doing that. The other one had them both in the bottom. This one's got one in the bottom, one in the top. There's a little bit, tiny little bit of hum. It definitely feels less than the 34 though. But my guess is this bow is probably slower than the 34 too, but we'll see. I'm gonna grip this one really good. Yeah, it's really minimal amount of vibration folks, but it is there. So let's try this thing for speed and comfort, and then we'll do it in performance. All right, 350 grain arrow, 70 pounds, CP30, comfort setting. Here we go. Three thirteen. Three sixteen. Duplicate. So we'll give it a 315 average since you got two 316s and a 313. Now let's change it to performance and see how much faster it is. All right, this is now in performance setting on the CP30. 
350 grain arrow, 70 pounds. Here we go. Okay, that hump's pretty significant now in the back end. So it's, it's more noticeable than the 34. 325, which doesn't surprise me. Usually when you start changing performance settings on shorter bows, you notice it a lot more. It stacks a little harder. Three twenty-seven. Three twenty-six. So we're going to give you a three twenty-six rating on there, which is one foot behind the thirty-four. Since we don't know what this bow is supposed to shoot for speed, I'm assuming it's going to be relatively close to what the SS34 was. And if that's the case, these are within five feet, which I haven't seen. So clearly somebody's paying attention to what the ratings are coming out at and what people are saying about their speed variance. So that's pretty phenomenal. I like to see that. Um, between this and the 34, because of my draw length, I'd probably look at a 30, 34, but if you had a 28, 27 inch draw length, this is probably a very appealing bow. Feels good, a little bit of vibration, and that phenomenal, easy to use tuning system. It's hard to beat, so looks like the same cam on both bows too. They feel very similar, but it does stack up a little bit in the back end when you put it in performance on this one, a little more than the other, but it's just, it's a small amount. And I'm sure you'd get used to it once you shot it for like a month. All in all, I'm very impressed with the changes and the improvements of these bows. Head on over to podiumarcher.com. Check out other stuff other than the bows, because I'm not allowed to sell these online, but I do have other equipment for you there. Make sure to follow along on the YouTube and the Instagram. Comment down below if we get to give away a free one, which I just talked to the rep, he said we should be able to do at least one. So one of these bows will announce when we put it out that, it, that we're giving away a free one at a certain number of views. So have to follow along, have to like, have to subscribe, and have to comment. We want engagement. Comment down below what you think. We'll keep them coming to you. Thanks for coming back.